T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now I'm reviewing Storm Collectibles Street Fighter V Arcade Edition Deadly Precision Battle Costume Cami. Supervised by Kiki. Kiki, I believe, designed the character models in the game or just designed what they would look like. I believe that's what it says on the back of here. There's that. There's this. It does say Kiki created under supervision of Capcom Street Fighter V character creator Mr. Kiki. So it's not like Kiki from the Drake song. Cringe. Anyhow, this box is huge. It's bigger than your typical Storm Collectibles because of the accessories it comes with. Inside the packaging, you get this backdrop, as you can see, which is one of her stages, or her stage, I should say. You get these different effects pieces, and these are some big friggin' accessory pieces, or effects pieces, I mean. You get the instruction manual that shows you how to put the effects pieces on and whatnot. You get two different face sculpts I'm gonna show off later. Two different hair sculpts I'm going to show off. And you get three extra sets of hands. You see she's wearing the fist. You get the martial arts gesture style hands. You get the more open palm hands. And you get the martial arts choppy hands. I'm going to be popping them in on and off throughout the video. They just pull straight off. You know how this works if you collect action figures. They pull off. And to let you see this, Storm Collectibles hands are very gummy pliable in fact a lot of her body is very pliable and soft like this the last accessory she comes with is this tuft of hair right there she has three of them i guess one for each head because each head has a hole right there they should have put a ball joint on this so when you pluck them in there it would stay it does not stay in there well and that will frustrate you in fact this figure as good as she looks and let's just zoom in on her details then I'll go to accessories and then articulation. She has these nice shiny boots right there. Here are the feet. The feet are wide. Some of these designs for these characters are made for, or it feels like they had action figure in, in mind when they, they decided to do it. Uh, yeah, there are a few things I'll complain about later, or I'll tell you, but I had reason for pause on but here's the detail in this backpack backpack has super pliable straps so they don't get in the way of our articulation this belt super pliable so it doesn't get in the way to articulation this body covering is all pliable over top of a, a harder piece under there in fact let me get into that right now i had to pop our body off of here and glue the top of it onto that hard piece so it wouldn't keep rising, giving her more of a gap down here than she has like front and back it. It actually works for me. I can articulate her more. Like this whole part of her body is pliable and so that gets out the way. But the hair is pliable but it 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 gets in the way. But not really. I'll talk about it later. Let's look at the face. You see the coloring on the eyes? I mean, she's not a real person, but the way they painted the eyes is still great. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but you can kind of move these visor, this visor down. This particular visor on this particular head, like I said, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. You can see her eyes behind there from certain angles like I see her eye right there the other visors I haven't been able to do that here's this hair sculpt right here and to show you this is how this works the hair just comes off the top of the head right there then you pull the head off of that peg might as well take this out because you're gonna need it these glasses do not want to stay in the grooves that they've put them in on not on any of the head sculpts so that's annoying and of course you pick another one plop it onto the joint right there just make sure that the 
visors right there. Plug in this tuff of hair. Hope it stays. And then you pick move the visors off of her eyes and pick whatever other hair sculpt you want. So here's this one sweeping back in the wind. But this face is her yelling. Maybe she's swinging or something like that. Now you could put whatever hair on there you want. So I don't know if y'all want me to show you each head sculpt with each hair. I mean, you get the picture. There's this. And here's the typical SH figure arts looking off to the, in one direction. I was gonna say looking off to the left, but they make them their characters look off to whatever direction. But this is Storm Collectible, so they're taking a page out of their book with that type of thing right there. All right, the instructions for her effects pieces, trash, trash. They do not show you a good way to get this on her. And I went on YouTube looking for cami review so I can see if somebody else showed. First result came up, Anthony's Customs, and then the other people, I've never heard of them. So I'm like, wow, not too many people have reviewed this figure. And I was like, I do not want to click on Anthony because I'm like, I know, I know he didn't show it because he has zero patience and this is frustrating. And skim through there, I was right. Just pictures at the end with her already having it applied. The other videos, not worth it either. So luckily you got T-Man. See this right here? I switched her face, switched the hair fluff to go up like that. Got her into this position with one foot down and on the other leg, the knee kind of bent like that. Take this one right here with the holes in it because the other one has two pegs. Try to get this foot all the way in there and basically have her in a position like that. Then take this, overlap it onto here the problem is she's so slick and smooth on her boots. She'll keep moving. It's like they should have thought this through and put a little groove on there. Once you get that together, there is this part. And these things aren't for kids because everything that looks sharp and pointy, and it is sharp and it is pointy and they do poke you and it hurts. Get that on there. That keeps it in there. And these little arms help to hold her in place but now she here she is using her cannon drill spiral whatever they called it and they didn't give you a stand to have her lifted up into this position so you you just basically wasted a bunch of time <laughs> and she doesn't like to stay it's like the way it's shaped it wants to push the foot back out which is also annoying so yeah and if you thought I was going to leave you hanging on this, no. Bandai Tomashi Stage X stand right there. A bunch of different arms to hold her up, but I'm not even using any arms. I'm just have that in between the, the groove of her legs. That's why you're seeing her just spin around. Now this effects piece right here. Pray for me. Pray for me. What you're supposed to do is like get her in like a pose like that. Take this foot and shove it into there. It does not like freaking at all want to stay in there. Here we go. She's using this kick effect right there. Awesome. Here she is on the stand. I did have to use the clamp this time, but yeah, it does not stay on the foot well at all. All right, here's another variation of her using this. And yeah, you can adjust her body to make it look as good as you want it to look. This thing is way too heavy. I don't even know why they made it so heavy. Let's get right into the articulation. She's easy to get into a pose. She kind of falls into them. Like the range of motion is so great that she just falls into them. But let's talk about it. The neck. There is a post in the center of our body that goes straight up through the neck part up into the head where there's a ball on top so she can get that and she can rotate she can look down only that much and up pretty much not at all 
I mean, you can do that. You would think the backpack is what's getting in the way, but that doesn't really matter. Let's get this face off for her. While we're here, there's no bulging at the bottom of there, and that is disappointing to me. It, It's just this whole thing is just one part underneath of there. There's a ball joint under this that can get you that much range, which is awesome. I've never seen that much range, especially on a female action figure. And she can even go back to, to a little bit. She can go off to the side a lot, which is great. So there's a lot of range in that, but yeah. Normally with a Storm Collectibles figure, there's a secondary joint under there so you can get better neck range. And this is all a pliable material, though, so there's no excuse. But without the hair on, let's show you. The neck, the head doesn't go back at freaking all because that post goes way too far up inside of the head. But if you wanted to know, if you pop her arms, arms off, you can get this backpack off if you want to have a different look for her. Speaking of popping the arms off, the butterfly joint is just a post going into the arm socket just like McFarlane. McFarlane's copying off of Storm Collectibles. I wish they used the materials that Storm Collectibles use, but do not push it back further than that. If you do, it's going to pop off. There is a joint cover right there, so it covers that post, but she can squeeze in for inward butterfly which is good and i like the way that her body squeezes to accommodate for like more realism but she does have the hands to go out like that which is very tight swivel which is very tight in fact this was like fused and i had to work with it to get it unfused she does have double jointed elbows that only been that much because of the arm guard thing she only has this on that one elbow it's not on that elbow the wrists are on a universal joint it depends on what hand you'll have on there to, to, that will determine how much range you get i showed the waist the legs can kick out far there is a post going from the, the leg joints up into the body so you can rock that under there i didn't think she had that so that will help you with the gapage you get right here like depending on how you have things positioned that thong will look like that now there's no covering in there i like the way sh figure arts have covering they wouldn't have designed it like that they would have had the butt sculpt come down a bit and when she bends forward the butt the rest of the butt cheek will come out of there they didn't do that here so she constantly looks awkward i mean maybe that won't bug you so much depending on how you have her but yeah but she can kick up quite a great deal as you can imagine and she can kick freaking all the way back there is a rotation inside of that socket you saw me using. She does have double jointed knees. There is a boot race rotation right here. It's kind of tight. I wouldn't force it to go 360. People's feet can't do that anyway. The foot goes all the way freaking back. Comes forward a lot and the toe hinges forward and the joint is like kind of tight. Here she is next to the other figure I've picked up this weekend and she is supposed to be 5'4 she is a 7 inch action figure if she's 5'4 she's supposed to be short I'd imagine he's like 6 feet 6 5'10 or something like that here is McFarlane's Joker right there now Storm Collectibles calls their figures 1 6 scale but they're definitely bigger than a 1 6 scale figure like this right here 1 6 scale for the people that don't know, it's supposed to be about a six inch action figure. Oh well, yeah, as we're seeing, she's not, she's not scaling with six inch action figures and Wonder Woman is a tall woman. Here's a Marvel Legends Leak Cage right there. I mean, depending, he's a tall Marvel Legends. Depending on what you want, 
you could scale her with them. I wouldn't because she's supposed to be like stylized looking. Here's Johnny Cage from McFarland. Both of them are McFarland. Let's get these negatives out of the way first. <sighs> the arms pop out of the socket. Way too easy. The gappage in this area and working with this area to try to make sure that it, it looks good from every angle. Very difficult. And like I said, I had to go up under there. I had to pop this off of the ball joint and fix that myself with some adhesive. This thing right here pops out all the time. Just manipulating her is not a joy. Like typically with high end action figures, posing them, like I said, she does fall into the poses and I like the way things like kind of move out of the way to accommodate for those poses because she is has does have a squishy body but it is frustrating and some of the joints are overly too tight like in the hips and whatnot uh, that's good for getting her to stand but yeah the hair falls off in the number one oh yeah these visors on each head they're a terror to work with the accessories she comes with are nice and great but getting her to work with them horrible the number one thing that just destroys the joy for me is them not giving her an individual ball joint down there in the neck area to give her more range of motion the fact that I can't make her look up at friggin all she can't even look down I, that is unheard of for a figure to not be able to look up and down last time I had a uh, high end action figure like that it's freaking my fan toys hoodlum for people that collect transformers and third party transformers and I put that thing through the ringer but anyhow positives oh yeah and another thing I didn't mention this throughout the review this blue paint on here it seems like while you're messing with it it can rub off onto this flesh tone right there and on the chest so you got to watch out for that for the positives i like the hand accessories and the head accessories and the hair accessories that she comes with she does have a good sculpt and good paint detail even though the articulation is a chore to work with i love the articulation and i love that she can get into her iconic poses and whatnot and I like the way a lot of the materials and whatnot work. And she is very customizable. Like when I pop that off, you could take this belt off if you don't like that belt. And you could take this backpack off if you don't want the backpack. You could bring the visor down over her eyes if you want it to. You can move this little tough thing all around. But that falls off like I said. But uh, anyhow. Uh, at the end of the day, though, this is an expensive piece. I can't. I would say whatever is the cheapest. Cheapest price you can find this thing for, I would try to wait to get it at that. If this thing was like friggin' under $50, I would be more happy with my purchase, but I paid more than $50. But I, I honestly can't even suggest getting this at full retail, whatever full retail is, because it is a chore to work with. And a bit frustrating, and I think the negatives outweigh the positives, to be honest with you. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you in some type of way. If it did, click subscribe because I'll be having more videos like this next video is most likely going to be this guy but I, I do have some other stuff anyway thank y'all for watching this until next time tman978 out of here click click the videos click the fucking videos baby click click the videos you should really click these videos click click the videos click those fucking videos baby click click the videos you really should click those videos click that shit